everyone. Welcome to another series of our bariatric cooking classes. Today we'll be making eggplant beef roll-ups, which would be a great substitute for lasagna if you're cra craving some Italian food. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare the eggplant to slice it. I have a mandolin, so I won't be slicing it by hand. I don't have a very good I don't do a good job making straight lines with an eggplant. For some reason, eggplant knife, the friction that it causes, I just can't get it straight. So to me, the easiest way is using a mandolin, and I already have it set up to a quarter inch slices. Um, now, super important is to always wear a safety glove that comes with your mandolin, because it's very easy to get cut, and this is super sharp, so I'm gonna go through it once like that, and then I'll keep slicing as many slices as I can get. Um, actually, let me cut that tip off to see if we can prevent this from happening, but that's the size that you want. Let's see if that makes it better. Yep. So we need about 13 slices. That's gonna be maybe two, three eggplants. Just depends on how big your egg eggplant is. And here I have the slices. Like I said, these are quarter inch thick and I'm gonna use the big slices. The smaller slices are gonna be a little bit harder to roll, to stuff and roll. So I'll probably go with the big first and if, and, and then, these ones I can always use for other recipes. Okay, I almost forgot. You need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees before you start slicing. So once everything's sliced, I'm gonna start uh, seasoning these. So I'm gonna lay them out here flat. We're gonna need 13 of them. Some salt. And black pepper to taste. Some people like to salt and, um, and then pat dry the eggplant or salt and soak it in water to remove some of the bitterness of the eggplant. But really, I've been reading about that and the varieties of eggplants that we have access to now are not bitter. And they make sure to pick them before they get to that bitter stage. So if you're worried about bitterness, you can save yourself that step and just go straight into seasoning and getting them ready to cook. Um, no need to soak them, no need to salt them and pat them dry ahead of time, okay? Now, if you do wanna do it, then there's no harm on doing that, so. But it's quicker if, if you don't. If you wanna save some time, then just go ahead and skip that step. Now we're gonna lay them out. I'm gonna need a second sheet pan and we're gonna cook it in the oven for about 20 minutes or until they're soft. We're not trying to get really any color on these just to cook them all the way through. Like I said, we need about 13. Two, four, six, eight. Put one more here and then the rest I'll put on the other sheet pan. Okay, so now we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, while the eggplant is cooking, let's prepare the stuffing. And here I have a pound of ground beef, which I already cooked. I don't wanna worry about uh, knowing if the ground beef is cooked or not when I'm baking the rolls. So I cooked it ahead of time, seasoned it, we're gonna do a pound of that, and this is very lean beef. This is 96% lean beef. So you get all the protein, and you get very little fat. Um, and this is not uh, going to look <laughs> super appetizing, but trust me, once it's all stuffed and topped with the marinara sauce, it's gonna look beautiful. But here's one cup of uh, part skin ricotta cheese half a cup of mozzarella cheese, 
This is the part skim, so reduced fat. And I'm gonna add about two thirds of the Parmesan cheese. This is half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna save the rest for topping. Last but not least, one large egg. Looks like I probably should have gotten a bigger bowl. Let's see if I can make this work. If not, I'll transfer. And now we're gonna mix this all together. Yep, I'm gonna get another bowl. By the way, in case you were wondering, this is the all-purpose seasoning that I use to season my ground beef. I've always used this, uh, but you can use your own favorite all-purpose seasoning. In the meantime, while the eggplant is cooking, I am going to slice the fresh basil. Have about a quarter cup, a little bit more a quarter cup of fresh basil. We could have maybe added some of this basil inside the mixture, that would be great as well. So you could save half um, for the topping and the other half into the ground beef mixture, but I have everything here. Um, I'm just gonna top it off. Um, I like that pungent uh, taste of the basil. If you don't like um, the taste to be so strong, then you should add at least half of it in the ground beef mixture. So to slice it, uh, you could stack it up like this and just slice it like that. Another technique is to roll it and it does make it a little bit easier and then slice in a angle thinly because that way we can get as much as possible on the eggplant rolls. Okay, so let's just, these are now ready to use as a topping. All right, the eggplant cooked for about 20 minutes and now they're soft. So now we preheat the oven to 400 degrees and I'm gonna transfer all these eggplants to a plate so that we can start rolling them. Now we're gonna start stuffing the eggplant. I'm gonna set these aside, bring in the ground beef, beef mixture. Okay, so we're gonna just lay the eggplant straight, like vertical like that, facing you. I have a tablespoon measurement, which is going to help me be more precise with the amount of mixture in each one. You can fit about three tablespoons of the mixture in each roll up, which makes about 13, we, we set 13 slices. So I'm gonna put that next to it and then one more on top. So as you can see, this is, a, this is time consuming, but this makes a lot. So what you can do is uh, roll these up, um, bake them and then freeze them. And then you can just Reheat them when you need them. That way you don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen. And you're just gonna roll it up in the seam, you're gonna leave it facing down. And then you can kinda shape it a little bit, make sure the mixture doesn't fall on the sides. And that's it. Now 12 more to go. Had a little bit of the beef left over so now you know that when you're making them the last maybe five or so or four add a little bit more of the beef so you can use it all I'll make sure still to use it on my end okay now that we have them rolled up what we're we're gonna set these aside now all right so now we uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one cup of marinara sauce we're gonna use about half of it pour it here in the pan and we're gonna spread it 
This is going to go in the bottom. And we're going to lay our eggplant rolls right on top. Now we're going to pour the rest of the marinara on top of the roll-ups. If you need to use a little bit more than one cup, that's fine. That's just an idea of how much you need. And now we're going to top with the rest of the Parmesan cheese. I've got the ground Parmesan cheese, but you can use shred it. Just evenly distribute it between all the rolls and your fresh basil. Like I said, you could put the basil, some of it in the ground mixture inside instead of putting it all on top or just putting it all on top. The flavor of the basil is gonna be stronger if it's all as a topping. So you decide what you like best. Now we're gonna add this back to the oven for about 25 minutes, or if you want, you can wait until the Parmesan cheese starts to brown. All right, this has been baking for 25 minutes in the oven and I think it's perfect. And so to plate, super easy. You just grab your spatula and uh, place the rolls on your plate. And actually, I think that we could, we could have even gone a little bit heavier, heavier with the marinara sauce because as you can see, some of, it, some of it gets burned in the pan. So maybe do about a cup and a half or even two cups just to make sure that you get enough coated on your rolls. And that's it. Now remember, you can add more sauce to that to make it even more delicious. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.